Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a smooth explosion stop motion effect easy in After Effects, let's begin. First of all click on track camera and wait until it's done. Once analyzing is finished, I will scroll the video and find some good points. I will select some right here and then right click and select create solid and camera. Now I will drag and drop an explosion VFX, check this video's description to download it for free. Let's enable 3D on explosion VFX. Then select track solid layer and press P on a keyboard and copy that position. Select explosion layer again and paste the position you have copied. It will fix the position of an explosion and it will be tracked 100% perfectly. Let's press S and scale it, then reposition it where you want it to be. Let's quickly check if it's tracked properly. Looks fantastic, and now we can make a stop motion, right click on an explosion layer, then go to time and select enable time remapping. Go to the beginning of the layer and then move this time forward or backward and choose the beginning of an explosion. Once it's cool to you, scroll to the end and then move the time to choose the ending. Once you are happy with it, select both keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor, right click here and select edit value graph and then make a smooth curve. To get rid of any jitters, enable frame blending. Click here twice until you see an arrow and then let's check the video. Looks cool, in case you don't want to make the explosion stop completely at the end, just drag the second handle slightly down. Once you are done with the curve, close graph editor and then let's make the explosion effect behind the car, select your clip and duplicate it. Move duplicated one above explosion layer and then rename it to car only. Now delete 3D camera tracker effect from it and then select a roto brush tool and scroll to the beginning of a car only layer. Now double click on car only layer and rotoscope the car as smooth as possible. Once you are done, change feather to 15 and then click on freeze button. As the freezing is finished, we can close rotoscoping window and then let's check it one more time. Looks really cool. Now we can toggle off track solid layer and then apply a shake effect. I will apply one from my shakes pack. I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials. Also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description. Check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.